What's up fellow classers? It's Apollyon here and a couple of videos ago I did a spotlight or a Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 six pack uh, war recap on Kukulana's attacks and if you look at this another six pack war for Kukulana so using the same type of strategy mass minor or, or a majority minor attack so I thought what better to do than to bring her on and hear from the person's mouth themselves doing these attacks, what's going on in the mindset, what base we're looking at, the type of base designs we're looking at to hit with mass miners, spell placements, rages, all that kind of cool stuff, king, queen, other troops. So let's go ahead and uh, ask the questions and do a how-to session, and uh, I'm going to learn with you guys. Okay, so we uh, have uh, the one and the only Kukulana here. Um, so, do, you know, she'll be able to go and uh, talk about the attacks that we're going to look at here and what you're looking for for the mass minor base at Town Hall 10 to get that three star. So I'm going to ask a few questions and, and try to pick uh, the, the brain here of what we're looking at and, and how we can be successful in doing that. So first, we really appreciate you coming on with us. It's awesome that you you were able to take the time out, and um, I'm really interested to see what we can come up with here, and, and I'm going to learn from it, and I hope everybody else does too. So we're going to look at two bases, um, number 16 and number 10, both hit with mass minor, and we're looking at 16 right now, and this was a, a cleanup attack, correct? Yes, that's correct. This was a scouted hit by a nine. Yep. So you, you knew it was in the clan castle and where a good portion of the traps were, so it yeah. helps you. So before we even get into this specific attack, maybe you can tell us what you look for generically on a base design when you're deciding you're going to hit it with Mass Miner or not. Yeah, so one of the things that I look for is where the pathing is not going to be problematic for the miners. Um, if they're going to route completely around an inferno tower and get roasted if they're gonna be in the range of you know an inferno tower and a, a wizard tower um it's you know it, it i'm trying to avoid the danger areas for for the miners or if there are too many danger zones on a base that i wouldn't have enough spells to get through i try to avoid that um, so you look, because this one actually has an, a wizard tower and an inferno tower right together on that first top one um, at around like 2 o'clock in, inside the core, and, and it also has a bomb tower right around there as well. Are you trying to avoid kind of inferno tower islands, or are you trying to avoid um, like inferno towers with a bunch of splash damage around it, or a place where there's going to be a lot of giant bombs, which is the most important for you to kind of avoid on the, with your miners? So I, I think I'm trying to avoid um, the Inferno Islands are doable, um, but it just depends what's around it and how the pathing goes. I've seen some bases where the the miners absolutely split the Inferno Towers, and you have two Inferno Towers left up at the end. Mm -hmm. um, this base, as I looked at it, there's very clear pathing. You know, as you'll see, the direction I start from is from the twelfth three side. Um, the pathing goes pretty quickly from like the expo to the inferno tower and you'll see that I rage through that um, so even though a wizard tower is there they can get through it pretty quickly um, under a rage and a heal um, one thing that the scout revealed it revealed one outside bomb um, a bomb next to the inferno tower a bomb next to the air defense and that, that was as far as the scout got, so I sort of assumed that the other bomb was by the Inferno Tower, and I, I had a heal ready to cover wherever the last one was if needed. Um, because this base was pretty compact, I, I knew that I would have the spell coverage to get through it, and that was, that was what attracted me to miners here right away. Um, do, you, do you like to use miners on more compact bases or more open bases? more compact bases. okay so it's kind of like hogs they're the ground hogs basically yeah, yeah. ground hogs <laughs> very, very good description okay that's and i noticed you did something cool here which i probably wouldn't have thought of it, it with a two healer queen walk so just to funnel on the the the, 
three o'clock side down to towards the six o'clock side. Um, what made you pick two healers instead of, or actually, did you go from three to twelve, or I, I forget which way they went? But what made you pick two healers instead of like traditionally so four? Of, so I try to on a queen walk see how much value I can pick up here. Even though the archer towers are are higher level, you've got town hall nine expos. Um, the, the wizard tower isn't maxed. I knew I'd be taking a lot of heat in that corner, um, but I was also planning on deploying the miners very quickly to distract those defenses. So I had to pop her ability pretty early, but I knew I'd get value. Like once once the miners started distracting the defenses and taking down those expos, um, the queen would really only be facing one defense at a time. And I expected that after she got through that, um, she would just get huge value. So miners taking down those defenses as the queen worked to clear those trash buildings. That was the, uh, that was the reason for the queen walk. Cool. Um, and basically through most of your mass miners, you want to bring more miners than not, correct? So there, the more miners, the better for the attack and to minimize your funneling troops, whether you can do it with just a king and queen on each side or bring a couple of bowlers yeah. behind the king or whatever it is, but you really yeah. want to get those miners right into the core and have a straight path to all the, the different defenses and not split up so you can capitalize on your spells and heal a group of miners instead of uh, just a, a bunch of them spread as well as the rage to get a good group of miners to rage in. So is that that's the general rule of thumb? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, well, and oh, go ahead. Know, in the queen walk, I was just going to add that the queen walk helps keep the miners inside the base and keep, keeps them focused where they want to be. Um, so you just try to see where you can get the most value for, for your heroes and if it's worth the exchange of the miners and the core for it. For the awesome. Heroes. Very cool. So why don't we take a look at this particular attack, and then we'll talk about some other stuff on the next one, like what kind of clan castle do you fear, or what's a, what's a bad clan castle to go against. But we're going to go look at this video in about three seconds. I'll go ahead and count it down. Three, two, one, to go ahead and look at it. And you can probably step us through so, some of the thought process here as you're dropping your queen first with the two healers um, to do the funneling, and you drop your king with bowlers right behind him. Uh, notice that there's not too many defenses on that top side until you get all the way down towards the nine o'clock so you, you can really get a lot of value off of that correct right exactly and one of the reasons i i chose bowlers again knowing um knowing what the cc was from the scout you know i often choose between either bowlers or wizards having a hound loon cc um made the decision to go with bowlers easy because they're not going to target the hound i've had some raids that the hound has followed the king, and the wizard has, uh, the wizards have popped the hound, mm -hmm. which is under the raid. Okay. Um, you know, so, so here, as as these miners are progressing through, you'll notice I, you know, I use the rage to to power through that first inferno tower, and then right. the clan castle plus that wizard tower, and you know, then it was just seeing where the threats were. The bomb tower was already down, and that last heal was just uh, just kind of the bonus here, and. And you see the, the queen is still trucking along, keeping that entire side. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize that the so. king lived through the whole entire thing either. Like, I knew yeah. knew the queen did, but yeah. the king, wow. just so, And that lava hound is doing absolutely nothing to him. There's not even, it's right. it's just complete. And the bowlers, like you say, kind of like when you're doing a La Luna attack, you want to bring minions instead of um, wizards or archers uh, when it's yeah. a hound in the clan castle because they, they can withstand all that stuff. That, that attack and and they can't hit it so it basically negates the whole entire cc you just want to bring a poison like you did to take care of that loon because that's incredibly important um but otherwise other than that it's like you basically have no clan castle to deal with yeah. at all so that's yeah. so in your opinion before we get into the next deck what's your best clan castle to go against when you're using miners i mean i think the best one to go against is absolutely how Hound loon, okay. Um, because the the most critical part is making sure that the loon goes down, as you just said. Um, the the loons can wreck the raid if you're not successful on your on your poison deployment. Mm -hmm. um, but as long as you take down the loon, it's, it's the hound is usually not an issue um, right. because it usually bounces around in the center, follows the miners. Um, it, it can be somewhat problematic if it locks onto the queen. 
if you have um, if you have pups chasing down the miners, but more often than not, as you just saw in that raid, it's a non-factor. Yeah, and I guess anything else that you put with the hound it makes no difference either. Even a wizard or you know all archers or all goblins, they they still can be dealt with poison just like the loon can. So it's really not a big deal. So yeah. why don't why don't we look at the next attack and we'll go over some of the things you don't like about uh, clan castles or ones that you try to avoid. So we'll look at number ten, I believe it is. Okay, so for number 10, this was a fresh hit. So, correct. Uh, was it, uh, it was the one that you hit without any scouts? Yep, that is correct. Oh, wow, so that's even better because uh, it's it's an even higher Town Hall 10. Um, what do we have? Do we have, I think those are level 3 Infernos, are they not? Yep, I, they, believe I think it's a max all... Town Hall 10. Yeah, it looks like a max yeah. Town Hall 10. So that's a perfect example. Um, looks like you brought less well you brought more miners last last attack you had 44 <laughs> miners plus your your seven in the cc this time you you brought 44 instead of the 40 you brought last time you did not bring healers for the queen is there a reason why you didn't right. bring healers this time yeah so the big thing i was looking at was like i said before where i could get value um and what i needed to get out of the queen so where if you look up at the nine o'clock corner there's there's a lot of free trash um mm -hmm. so i just i as you'll see i used a wizard to take out that trash and I, I really just wanted the queen to help keep the the miners inside the base um so i used some cleanup troops sort of on the outside to take some of those free buildings um and, and keep the miners in but i just i didn't see enough value on healers because as as you look at the, you know, seven to eight o'clock side, um, the queen would get so wrapped up in targeting the trash buildings that she wasn't really going to get enough defensive value um, to to replace the like the six or seven miners that mm -hmm. that, the, that the healers would take would take up. their place. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, good. That's awesome. What What about, so let's go back to what I said before as far as clan mm -hmm. castles. What are your scary clan castles to go against at Town Hall 10 for miners? Yeah, so, I mean, the, the hardest CC to, to face is like a golem loon. Um, the, the golem explosion can really wreck miners. The time that, that the miners have to engage the golem hurts because usually, you know, as you see on this base, um, if there was a golem in the CC, I would have an Inferno Tower, a Wizard Tower, Expos, uh, and a Bomb Tower, basically, and heroes on me. If, <laughs> if they were locked onto to a golem, that would pretty much, you know, end the raid from the start. Um, you know, the, the risk, certainly, of running a golem CC is that that opens you up to... Oh, yeah, to tons of to other, other attacks. attacks. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, so, I mean, so it's a balance when choosing your CC, but, um, but... That's certainly the last CC I want to see if, if I'm doing a minor attack. And one of the things we didn't mention is another thing that golems do is make your miners stay up longer. Like you said, they 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 concentrate more on the golem. But while while that's not true for any other troop because any other troop is going to take damage as uh, at all times, miners only take damage while they're on, on above the ground. So while they're burrowing under the ground, the defense is completely untarget them and they're not taking any damage whatsoever by any of the defenses. So the more that they have to stay up to hit the golems or the golem, the more the other defenses can target them and take them down as they're not, they, they don't have tons of hit points. So that's that's uh, another thing to look at. What about, what about witches? Or, or baby dragons. Um, I've heard witches are pretty bad for miners as well. Yeah, so so witches and baby dragons, you know, on, on one hand, you can use poisons to take those down versus a golem, you can't really do that. Um, but with miners, with either a baby dragon, which, like a, a, well, we'll just say a baby dragon, which CC, if those split, you know, one, you're going to be dealing with splitting your poisons. You usually take two poisons for a 10 v 10. Mm -hmm. um, if, if your poison drops aren't dead on, so you've got, you've got miners above ground bashing on skellies trying to get to the queen, you, 
may or may not actually hit your hit your spell spell drop. Um, but depending depending on the CC split, they can they can definitely be problematic. Okay, but um, just make sure you bring. Would you would you ever bring three poisons in that kind of case when you have baby dragon witch or two is probably good enough. I mean, honestly, in a lot of cases, if I saw a baby dragon witch in CC, I would look at a different attack. Okay, so those are to, those are really tough just, to, to negate. Or is yeah, it possible? I mean, is it possible to do kind of what we do at Town Hall nine or eight, where if the clan castle is easily lurable, you can go ahead and pull a witch and a baby dragon and take care of that with your like uh, queen and maybe uh, like uh, another baby dragon or something simple and just take that out initially and then get on with your minor attack oh yeah i mean that that's certainly certainly a possibility if if a clan castle is very easily lurable um you know, especially if you're doing the queen walk <clears throat> excuse me that you know that's that's an option um, okay so, um, what about your, you said you you like to use your rage to push through uh, inferno towers or something? Is there any is there anywhere else that you look for to use your rage spell? Because you usually go heals are pretty self explanatory. You heal over giant bombs, bomb towers, um, inferno towers, any any time with and, and wizard towers. Anywhere there's going right. to be a lot of splash damage. Mortars, eh, not so much. You can't really you're, you're going to get hit, hit with those sporadically. But everything else that so that that's pretty self-explanatory. But the the rage, um, where where do you like to use your rage spell? So um, I, I want to use the the rage spell over the biggest threat areas. So if, if I'm doing a minor entrance that has an inferno tower surrounded by high hit point buildings, storages, um, and and the rest of the base looks attractive for miners, I'm gonna rage through those storages to get to the IT. Um, like on the previous attack. The one of the areas I was most worried about was you know behind that first inferno tower you had the CC the wizard tower the bomb tower heroes um, that was an area I wanted to get through quickly so uh -huh. you f find your threat areas that typically involve high hit point buildings and rage to get your miners through those quickly. All right, so Seven. you can walk us through this attack then. Um, I, again, I forget where you started on this, on number 10. Where, okay. where, where, what were you funneling on, on this one? Okay, so, so on this base, what I, what I liked about the base for miners was you see the, the center court. So I, I started from the, the 9 to 12 side with the attack and, and swept okay. across the base. Um, I really liked the pathing for the miners because everything would just rip straight across that base. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't terribly worried about pathing until, I guess, the very end, which you'll see. Um, but there were a lot of free buildings that I also tried to funnel that I could pick off on the outside, either with the heroes or with, you know, minions, archers, to help keep those miners in the base. Um, yeah, I mean that was that was really what I was looking for. I just and one, the yeah, I'm sorry to okay. cut you off there. One of the things we didn't say before I play this report is is how do you deploy your miners? Is it like just uh, an Asian wall of hogs? Do you actually target each one of those like collectors and 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 mines, mm -hmm. or how 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 is the because de deploying 44 miners is not as easy as you think it is. It's uh, <laughs> it sounds pretty simple. But you don't want to deploy 10 of them here and then wait like five seconds and deploy 10 more and then wait and deploy 10 more because then your pathing gets all screwed up. Everything goes all over the place. So how do you do that? <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> this is, it, it really, it, you made a good point. You don't want things to clump up. Um, you want things to spread out across those defenses and, and around, across those buildings and sweep into the base evenly, right? Mm -hmm. So what I do, it's, I mean, it's spammy. I, you know, that's that's all there is to it. I, it's, I just do a one finger drag. I, I start where I, you know, where I want the the funnel to, or where the funnel's broken. Yep. I start there and then just drag over to you the just, other You side just hold it down and then just drag it? And, okay. Yeah, and just keep going until all 44 miners. 
I have never mastered like that four or five finger hog drop like some other people can do because I, <laughs> I play on an iPhone so I, ju I just can't I, I can't get that like it's just too small if I had a tablet I could probably do it but uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll see how I do with the minor tack but let's let's go ahead and take a look at it I'm gonna go ahead and play it in uh, three two one and then you can see in both of these attacks one of them was under a minute and a half or about a minute and a half and the other, this one is under two minutes so we're watching the wizards start to do some funneling and minions at nine o'clock at uh you got some minions at six o'clock with some archers at six as well as at um at three and then you send your king with bowlers in at the 12 o'clock and your queen is all the way down there around like eight o'clock and not not starting at the nine o'clock area yeah because i knew that wizard was going to do work and i wanted her to hopefully step up and get at least one defense before she died um and i knew that wizard was going to do all the work that i needed him to do so that's why i chose to put her down a little bit farther um i i liked the the minion at um at about 6 30 because if the queen did live, I wanted her to wrap around that corner and not get um, distracted by the defenses, but she didn't okay. act by the storages, but she didn't live much longer. So. And and I see you raged kind of through the queen area at this one instead of like the yeah. Inferno Tower. Um, do you like pre-healing or do you like, I guess reactive healing is, is probably a wrong word, but like just hitting it while they're in the, in the area or as they're coming into the area? Well, it's it's really as they're coming into the area on a you know on this base, you you can sort of anticipate where the bombs were. Well, I mean, I guess there were there were two that were outside, but there's usually always at least a, at least one bomb in the inferno tower compartment. So I always heal there so that the miners that are not um, being targeted by the healer or by the inferno tower um, don't get fried by the giant bomb. So I I use a the heal there pretty much exclusively and then if you see those the the space for the giant bombs um i mean it you just put the heels where it makes sense um so you'll see one of the giant bombs was in the range of the bomb tower and so i i just placed it so it would cover the bomb tower and the mm -hmm. giant bomb um, okay. you know even though it was the fresh hit i knew that that was a very likely spot for it so it just um, it just helped maximize the use of those heels and so. and before we we stop here like just explain the, the inferno tower i see a lot of people heal over the inferno tower and uh, you know inferno towers stop heels from working or at least they <laughs> you, you can't heal but i i think w what's the reasoning behind that because i see everybody do it is it because you have more than five um miners in that area so you know the yeah. the the um the five the the five that are getting targeted aren't going to get healed but the rest of like the the f whatever there are in there are going to get healed as well as when they finally take down that inferno tower they also go ahead and hit a giant bomb right after and you want to have them healing cuz they're going to be low health from the inferno tower is that does that make sense or am i thinking yeah. wrong no that's that's exactly right uh, because more often, I mean, it's it's a mass attack. You're going to have typically far more than five miners in on the Inferno Tower, especially at the front end of the attack. So that heal is for the benefit of the other miners in the area. Obviously, not for the five that are being targeted by the Inferno Tower. Um, and and because I think I think every Inferno Tower compartment I've seen has bombs in it. Yeah, it's just the, the right. Yeah. <laughs> You, you need to yeah. you need to for hog attacks uh for okay. minor attacks you need to have them in there otherwise it makes yeah. it way too simple to do so yeah. i'm going to put you on the spot now and just say i i know i didn't ask you this before but is there is there anything else that you can think of that we didn't cover or uh anything you can tell the the you know the the subscribers here the ones that are watching this video of, of um, anything else they might look for with their mass minor attacks where it can succeed or fail? Because uh, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of miners fail too. It's not at all a three star like guaranteed like it used to be back in the day where you just drop miners, collect it. Uh, I've seen them many times fail with lower percentages or fail with toward the last couple defenses. So anything you, you want to sound off before uh, we end the video? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I'd say, even though it is 
is a <laughs> it is a spammy attack. Um, FC it practice your your spell placement, anticipating where where the bombs are going to be. Um, you know, if, if you don't have a full scout, the the timing of your of your spells is is pretty important on the attack. Um, and and just FC and get a feel for how the miners flow across the base. Again, you know, I think you've saw you've seen some some bases that have had pretty good pathing for them. Um, and just yeah, just huh? cool. enjoy and <laughs> see the weaknesses. You know? Awesome. <laughs> Last question, easy one though. What kind of scout do you like to see when you're going to do a mass miner for from the town hall nine to scout the base because obviously they can't do only, they can only do five six miners so what what kind of scout would you would you recommend in in order to to kind of duplicate or whatever yeah i mean certainly if i'm if i'm doing a walk with the attack i'll i'll ask to scout the walk okay otherwise it's just hogs Hogs. You know. Hogs are the you best. They're, 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 the, they're the above ground uh, miners when it comes to that kind of stuff. They can go over walls instead of under, and they're going to pass very similar to, to that. So that's fantastic. Yeah. So, okay, well, we re we really appreciate your time. I Hopefully everybody else, like, got a lot. I I personally got a lot out of it. I mean, I've got my miners coming in, like, a day or so. Um, my barracks nice. is going to finish. And then I think level two and level three miners are going to be right after that. So I am going to be doing tons of miner attacks. Uh, I think that's, that's so cool. I think another cool thing about this is you don't technically need max heroes for this attack. It's always better to have them. But, you know, you need that funneling done. And I think a level 35 queen would have probably accomplished the same that your level 40 queen did on this attack and maybe even the same as your, your, your level 40 king. Uh, the big thing is the mass mine, the miners at level three. You gotta get those miners up to level yeah. three. So th thanks again. And we'll, we'll be looking forward to seeing more of your attacks on, on the channel. And hopefully we get to, to bring you back again. Thanks, thanks a, a bunch. So once again, we give a shout out and thanks to uh, Kukulana for coming on with us and, and stepping us through both these attacks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I really benefited tons. I've said that before, but um, go ahead and you know practice. I'm going to practice these things like crazy and friendly challenges. I really would love to get my own six, six pack in a Town Hall 10 v 10 type of scenario. So hopefully you guys do like, subscribe if you haven't already, share them with your clan mates if they, you enjoy it and sure they will enjoy it and benefit it as well and uh, as always get those six star clan wars and practice those three star attacks